So the Bucks practiced today in Phoenix, and they did so without their star. Giannis Antetokounmpo worked out on his own. Hmm. His status right now is listed as doubtful for game one. That's terrible news for the Bucks. Giannis missed the final two games of the Eastern Conference Finals after suffering a hyperextended left knee in game four. Malika Andrews with an update on the Milwaukee team. Mike Budenholzer said that Giannis Antetokounmpo was able to get on the court for another basketball workout on Monday, but he declined to say exactly what Giannis was able to do, leaving it at just he is making progress. But he's officially listed as doubtful for game one of the NBA Finals, and so without him, the Bucks are going to need to continue to try to win by committee, as Chris Middleton detailed. When Giannis is out there, a lot of times we could just give him the ball and let him go to work and you know, let him uh, orchestrate a lot of things out there. Without him, um, we have to do it by committee. But you know, I think guys have done a great job of adjusting um, with them out, with him not out there, uh, in you know, two of the most important games of our season. You can't replace a player of the caliber of Giannis. It's even more impressive what he does and what he's done since he's been injured, um, continuing to be vocal, if not even more vocal, uh, pulling players aside individually. Uh, addressing the team collectively, making sure he's still present and more than um, a big part of what we're doing, uh, has instilled confidence in both individual players as well as the team in general. Now, ultimately, the decision of whether or not Giannis Attentacumpo plays is going to be a collective one. It comes down to what Mike Budenholzer said, General Manager John Horst says, Giannis himself as well as the medical staff. But if he is unable to go, the Bucks are going to continue to rely on Chris Middleton. As Drew Holiday said, we rode his shoulders all the way to these finals, and they may need to, if Giannis is unable to play, continue to ride those a little bit longer. Chris Paul is a featured part of what the Suns want to do. He did practice today during the Suns open session. After Phoenix reached its first final since 1993, CP3 revealed he played with partially torn ligaments in his right hand during that Clippers series. That has not stopped confidence in Paul out of Vegas heading into game one. Paul, age 36, currently has the shortest odds to win MVP in his first finals. That according to our friends at Caesars William Hill. Teammate Devin Booker isn't far behind, followed by still recovering Giannis and Chris Middleton, who's at a tempting number himself, plus 650. Those are the only four currently with odds shorter than 10 to 1. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.